the starter has mounted his rostrum. I assume he's just waiting for two o'clock to roll on. Looking at his watch. Coming into line, white flag off and racing after a three-year hiatus. We're back here at Ballino with the 2022 races, and we start off with this four-year-old maiden sponsored by Goff's UK Entry Sale and heading along to the first of 14 fences. Out there in front over number one is our John. He is up there in company with Supreme Lee West. They are one and two. After these in third position as they race to the second of the two fences on this side of the track is Encanto Bruno in the red jacket. So coming now to fence number two, Supreme Lee West has just gone on from our John and in third place is Encanto Bruno. After these in fourth position then, we have Flash de Pistolet followed through by in fifth place, the winner of the best turned out award, uh, Cato Capone. Back then, three from the rear is Simple Getaway, who is held up in company with Carrie Kill, and the one that was deliberately dropped out at the tail of the field, TJ True. So the eight runners come to the first of the two fences before the winning post, and they're going a nice lick in this four-year-old maiden. And out there in front is Mikey Sweeney. He's aboard supremely west, lands with a small advantage from on his outside in second. That's our John and Johnny Hurley. So taking fence number four, and they've all got over the first four safely. So they begin to stack up in behind Supreme Lee West, who has a small lead. Down the rail in second position is Encanto Bruno. Third position out deep is our John, and then you've got Flash de Pistolet, orange cap in fourth, white cap, the horse with the white face. Number 13 is Cato Capone, who's in fifth. After these, in sixth place is Simple Getaway, and then the two held up at the back of the field, the O'Rourke runner, that's Carrie Hill, his second last back marker. In the colours of Liz Kennedy is TJ True. So they've covered about five, six furlongs, and they're heading back now toward, to the fence, which brings them to the starting point, and that's supremely West going along at a good gallop, gets over the next one, wings it nicely from in second place, over it was Encanto Bruno. In third position is our John, and then beside each other are two of the Wexford horses in those orange silks. They are Flesh de Pistolet and Cata Capono, Capone. Still back in sixth place is Simple Getaway. So at the next one, Supremely West has opened up an advantage now of five lengths from over there in second place is Encanto Bruno, James Hannan. So they've covered a mile and a bit and continue now to the fence, which is eight from home. And that's Supremely West. The lead has been reduced to two lengths now from our John, who takes it in a share of second place there with Encanto Bruno. Back then in fourth on the outside is Cato Capone, after this one is Flash de Pistolet and then Simple Getaway. Back markers remain Carrie Kill and TJ True is last of the eight, but no more than what, 10, 12 lengths behind the leader, which continues to be supremely west. He's past the halfway point and now facing into the fence. The first of the two up to home straight on the penultimate lap. And as they come to this one, supremely west. Over it neatly from in second place, that's Encanto Bruno. 
Still third on the outside, that's our John Fuller through in the center by both Ketter Caponi and Flash the Pistolet as they climb out over this one. Still sixth place there is Simple Getaway. Our John has got a few reminders and drops at the back of the field in company with the likes of Carrick Hill and TJ True. So out they go, down the side for the final time. Supremely West is our leader heading out into the final mile just with a small lead. Moseying through now into second place on the inside is Flesh the Pistole. Catacoponi is also improving. Back to fourth place on the level is Encanto Bruno. Fifth position is Simple Getaway, and there are three behind that one. They are Carrie Kill, R. John, and TJ True has yet to pass a rival. This is the fifth last fence, and Supremely West coming down to this one at a good lick and gets it wrong, but ma manages to keep on his feet, but has surrendered the lead because Flash de Pistolet takes over with Catacapone. So Flash de Pistolet, Catacapone go past Supremely West under pressure. Simple getaway is improved into a share of third. Back to fifth place then to find Encanto Bruno. TJ True is creeping into it in sixth, followed by Carrie Kill and out the back door and dropping away is our John. Three to John and the two horses in the orange silks, Catacapone on the near side of, uh, or on the far side of uh, Flesh de Pistolet. They're toe-to-toe -to -toe as they go now to the third last fence. It's Catacapone, winner of the best turned out aboard, has gone on now from Flesh de Pistolet, who comes under pressure. We lost TJ, we lost one in behind. It was uh, just waiting for the jockey to rise. It could have been TJ True, who fell at that one. So TJ True... Departed at the third last, and as they head with two to jump, and that's Catacapone, who appears to have got the better of Flash de Pistolet, but getting second wind and running on strongly is Encante Brune. Bruno, so coming down to the second last, Catacapone's in front, Encante Brune gets to within a length as they come to the second last. They've got it between them, they're clear from Flash de Pistolet, Simple Getaway's dropped away, and then Supremely West, but one to jump. The white face of Catacapone tackled on the outside uh, by uh, coming there strongly, Encante. Brune and as they go to the last hundred yards and Kante Brune has been brought by James Hannon to take over a winner for the Colour Motherway team and Kante Brune gets the job done defeats Catacapone drama in behind at the last because we lost Flash to Pistole and Mikey Sweeney tried to hang on for dear, dear life aboard Supremely West but eventually gravity won the battle so we were left with only the two finishers and they were and Kante Brune for Achille defeating Catacapone. The result of the first race, first number 17, number 13 was second, the winning distance two lengths, 17 beat 13 by two lengths. The second race, the five-year-old Geldings Maiden, sponsored by Tattersalls and Anthony and Associates Agri, Agri Consultants, there are 11 runners. The runners and riders, number seven, Mr. S. Kavanagh. 